Well, hey everybody, it's Hex here again, and we are working on this modern house some more. We're gonna do some stuff on the interior. So last time we did the interior in here, and we built this nice kitchen. Now, I'm fully aware that I'm spending quite a bit of time on this particular house. I think it's looking awesome, but I am spending a lot of time on it. So what I wanted to do today was to try to finish the interior in its entirety in 25 minutes. And that is the goal here. So what I've done to sort of facilitate that goal is I've built some stuff already to kind of lay things out. And then I was just gonna put on top of that the details of some things. So I'm gonna show you what we have, and then I'm gonna show you the details that we have as we go here. So I think that that should be pretty fun. Okay, so the first thing that I did is right here, I built this little wall coming out, and that wall is right across from here, and it's a space of one, two, three, four blocks. So then when I built this little wall, it's one, two, three, four blocks out this way. And then what I did is I put in some looms here and here. So these are looms, it's the back of the loom, and that's the back of the loom. And then I built this out of some slabs. These are the acacia slabs. And then I put some paintings up there. And what I was trying to create here was kind of like a little computery type of workstation. So I'm gonna get out our pressure plate and we have a button. So this pressure plate here is gonna simulate our, um, our computer's keyboard. And then we have a little computer's mouse right there. There we go. You know what, what if we did two of those for the keyboard? Or maybe we could use the, um, the white, the white carpet. Where is my white carpet? There we go. There it is. We're going to try some white carpet. Oops. There we are. All right, there's our keyboard and our mouse. I think that that's relatively, uh, what do you call it, convincing. And then we're going to go ahead and put a little pot right here with a f little potted plant. That looks pretty good. And then I think what I'm going to do is take some um, iron trap doors and put them on top of these kind of filing cabinet looking things here. So we're gonna do a couple of iron trap doors like that and two more right there. That's looking pretty good. And then we're gonna take our buttons and we're gonna put it on here so that we can have these kind of, uh, like these are like cabinets that you could open. I think that looks pretty good so far. Yes, I like this very, very much. You know what we need? We need a beacon. Up, up, up. <laughs> We need a beacon because beacons are the universal Minecraft builder's computer. <laughs> there we go. There's our little computer. That looks pretty good. Uh, oh, you know what this thing is missing? <laughs> it's missing a chair. <laughs> let's see, we need like a, let's see. Do we have any, let's, I wanna look at what slabs we have available because I'd like to build like an office-y kind of chair, but maybe, maybe we're just gonna go with this like that couple of things like that. You know what, maybe like that. And then we're gonna do um, some more trap doors and we're gonna have these acacia wood ones. And we're gonna go like this. There we go. That's pretty cool. And then, you know what we should do is uh, some signs. Ah, how about a sign? How about an acacia sign? An acacia sign. So I hope everyone is doing really well. I know that I'm doing pretty well. Hope everyone's doing really well out there and everyone is uh, enjoying their day. Don't forget to go outside and get a little bit of fresh air today after this video. Take your phone with you. Don't forget to not trip <laughs> as you're watching Hex Regulus. <laughs> and I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Um, this needs a little bit more detail. It's almost like S. No. It's almost like we need to put some, some signs on here. There we go. I like that. I don't know what that's for or what those are, but I like them. And then we're gonna put a few up here. Maybe like that. You know what we could do? We could make like shelves instead. But I think that looks pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, I'd kind of like to put a little plant in here, don't you think? I think this needs a plant. So we're gonna do um, a composter and some leaves. I gotta keep my eye on the time. I am trying really hard, you guys, to create these, um, these videos so that they're not overly long and we don't have like 800 parts for every single 
thing that I build, but also that you guys get to see like the whole process of me building. And so it's been, honestly, it's been a little bit of a difficult balance. And I feel like I kind of went a little bit more towards the, um, towards the let's build side in the last couple of episodes. And so, um, yeah, I was a little bit disappointed in myself about how those turned out, but this looks good right here. Okay. I think we're going to come back to this area right here because I don't have any ideas about it yet, but I did build some stuff up here. If I could ever get myself up these stairs, there we go. I did build some stuff up here. So what I did is I bisected the room. So basically I built this wall right here. So that it is exactly 11 blocks away from that wall and 11 blocks away from this wall. Then what I did is I brought it so that it's all the way here and it's one, two, three, four blocks away from this wall. So we got 11 over there and 11 over there. That's what the torches are there for counting. Of course, I broke one right there. Um, but I just told you what they are. Okay, so then what I did is in here, actually, I did quite a bit in here. I put this glass right here. This is uh, just the glass panes. It's not the solid glass or the block glass. Um, and that way, when you're watching your movie up here, uh, the sound doesn't like travel down there. So that, I was thinking that um, if you don't care about that, you could just leave it as a little glass wall. Um, and then what I did is I put a bunch of sea lanterns behind here. I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sea lanterns across and then all the way to the ceiling like that. And then on the edges here, we've got our trap doors. These are some dark oak trap doors. Right here, we have some more glass blocks. And then I put trap doors like that to simulate some speakers that are kind of interestingly hanging on the wall there. And then what I did is I just put some paintings over this to be our TV screen. I kind of wanted that one. There we go. Uh, unfortunately, Minecraft does not have uh, paintings that fill the whole thing. So I thought I would just do something like that. And then I built this lovely couch. This couch, it starts in front of this window right here. Um, one, two blocks away from it. And then it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know why sometimes the little bounding box doesn't appear. It's nine blocks wide and it's made out of the cyan powdered concrete. And then here we have, um, this lovely, uh, this lovely, um, slabs in here to create a nice little couch. And then what I thought I would do is I thought that I would maybe create, um, some, like just a little bit of a hanging deal here. And by hanging deal, I mean like a light. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get some end rods and we are going to get our honey block. The block of the honey. The block of the honey. And then we're just gonna go ahead and put a little lighting over here. This room is already pretty bright and I have some of the brightness turned up on my shaders. Uh, pretty far. I'm using the Chocopic version 13.7 low, 13 version 7 low, whatever, um, because it's awesome. But it does kind of render the inside pretty poorly. Uh, some other shaders that I have, they run really well, but I was just afraid that um, they might be a little bit too uh, laggy for recording. So I, I decided not to use them, but the BSL ones work really well for this interior. And so do, um, so does the, uh, Luma doesn't work very well on my computer <laughs> as we found out last, last time. Okay. So there's a little lamp right there. And I think that's pretty darn good for this area. Now what I'd like to do, this area looks pretty bland. So we're going to go ahead and get some carpet. <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of gray carpet right here. Yes, like this. And we're just going to go ahead and throw in a carpet. Like that. And that looks a lot better. And then maybe we're going to do a little carpet here. There we go. We want a, like a really comfortable place to watch our movies and stuff. And that's really good. Okay, cool. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. You know what we might put down here? We're, we're going to get a button. And this is going to be our remote control. This is our remote control right here. There we go. <laughs> a derpy remote control. Ooh, you know what we could do? We could get some, like, some white um, carpet here and put on top of this thing instead. Just to kind of give this couch a little bit more detail. Or maybe we're going to use gray carpet. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to come back and fix that. 
There we go. There's some gray carpet. Okay. All right. I feel like I'm speed building right now. Like, go, go, go. Build it fast. <laughs> here we go. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, in here, what I've done is I have built a low wall right here across. And then what I did is I put in this guy. And what this guy is, that's our pool table. That is going to be our pool table. And you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm actually going to move it over one. And there's a reason I'm going to move it over one. Because I just decided what I want to put on this wall. I just decided, you guys. Fresh out of the box of Hex's brain. A new decision. And then we're going to go ahead and put our nice honey blocks over the top of this guy. Like that. And we're going to grab some of these trapdoors. Sometimes it's easier for me to run and grab a trapdoor than it is for me to get them out of my inventory. Like that. And now we can have our little pool table. I was trying, I tried actually a couple of different designs for the pool table to try to see if I could get it to actually have a, um, a lower part there. Uh, there are also ways that you can put um, like colored heads and stuff on the pool table to make it look like there's actually pool balls on the pool table, but um, we're just going to do that for now. Okay, next, what we're going to do is I wanted to build a little bit of a shelving unit here. So I think we're going to take out our bookshelves. And we're going to take out our acacia wood. Uh, acacia slabs probably would be the best way to go. And then we're going to take out our um, acacia trapdoors. All right. And I'm going to just go ahead and put some, like some bookshelves on here. And I'm just going to kind of do this like that. Ooh. No, like this. That's kind of interesting. Very good. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and put in like maybe some, some shelves like this. There we go. I like that or do I kind of, I don't know. I'm just kind of playing around with some shapes. That looks okay. Very. Uh, all right, we're going with it because we're speed building. <laughs> we are speed building. And we're just going to cover over these bookshelves with this stuff. Why? Because I think that the bookshelves look really bad with their texture when you don't um, do that. You know what I need to do? I'm going to do this right here. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I'd like to... No, I don't like it. <laughs> I wanted to be able to put things on top of those shelves, but I think what I'm going to do is this instead. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some, um, let's see, some pot. Uh, let's see. We need some pots. Pots, 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 some flowery pots. There we go. And maybe we'll put one up there and one there like that. And then we're going to put some flowers in some of them. So we need a flower there and a flower there. We're going to need our end rods. Speed building with hex. Speed building with hex. Here we go. End rods. Bam. One there and one there. And then we're going to do some carpets. Oops. You guys are seeing all my errors from my shaders and stuff. <laughs> there we go. A carpet there and a carpet there for our couple of little lamps. Do we need like one more lamp? I think we do. Right there maybe? That's kind of sweet. All right, and then um, maybe some item frames. Here we go. Some item frames. Like maybe a couple there. Whoa, who knew you could do that? Did you guys know that? I did not know that. Interesting. All right, and then we're going to put like, um, I don't know, some items on there. Let's see, we need like some potions. We need some, let's see, miscellaneous. We're just going to grab random things. Okay, we're going to grab this bamboo. We're going to grab this uh, sugar cane. We're going to grab, um, we're going to grab, what are we going to grab? This book. What else? What else, you guys? What else? I was kind of looking for, okay, how about a blaze rod? Perfect. And then, um, yes, a scroll. We need a scroll. There we go. Ooh, and a record. Perfect. Done. All right. We're going to start putting these things in there. That looks trippy like an eye or something. There we go. Uh, not really sure. Maybe that's a record player. 
<laughs> I made a record player. Okay, very nice. Uh, we're gonna put that there. A little potion. Uh, maybe up here we're gonna put our book. There we go. And then right here, what are we gonna put here? Um, the scroll. There we go, scroll. And then we're gonna put in the um, some sugar cane right there. No, blaze rod. We want a blaze rod. There we go. There we go, blaze rod. Okay, cool. And then, wow, that is really bright over there. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Um, I like that quite a bit. You know what we need to do? Though, we're going to grab a plant. We need the composter. Composter. And we need some leaves. Some leaves. There we go. Okay. That's nice. That's good. Oh, perfect. I like it. Do we want to do two of those? Yes, we do. Oh, yes, we do. There we go. That's nice. Okay. I very much like that. That's kind of like a nice place to like put your items there. And then over here, I think we might do perhaps another uh, one of these deals. That looks pretty good. I wanted to go to the ceiling though. There we go. And what I'd like to do, I, I would really, really like you guys, if it would be possible, please and thank you, to put... Um, Let's see, do, what tools, is there a tool that looks like a pool cue? <laughs> no. And the fishing rod, sort of? No. Nope, not really. Um, the only thing we have is like a stick. There we go. Oop, not a carrot on a stick, a regular old fashioned stick. And then we need our item frame. I-10, item, item frame. There we are. Beautiful item frames. All right, and then over here, we're gonna build like a little um, rack for our pool cues. Like this. Like this. And then maybe one here and one here. And then we're gonna put in an acacia uh, tr one of these things. No, no, no. There? Seems awfully large. There we go. And then we're gonna put in, um, let's see, I've got an idea. We're gonna put in this cyan concrete powder for like that little thing that you uh, rub on the end of the pool sticks. The chalk, that's what it's called. <laughs> there we go. It's been a while since I played a game of pool. And then maybe we'll put two more pool sticks up here. There we go. That's pretty good. That is pretty gosh darn good. I'm very happy about that. That works well. And then we need to get uh, some more of this carpet because we're going to put some carpet around the pool table like this. Like that. I think that's going to work. Do, 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 placing carpet with hex. Placing carpet with hex. There should be like little theme songs for each one of these deals. Do, 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 do. They sing Harper with X. Okay. That'd be pretty funny. There we go. That's nice. I like that. I like that. You know what else we need, though? We need to not be able to fall down the stairs. Here we go. So we're going to go ahead and place this around these stairs so that no human being or non-human being can fall down the stairs. That's great. And then we're gonna do another one of these, there and there, with some leaves, like that. Right there. That's pretty good, actually. I like that. That is working out just fine and dandy. Uh, this area needs something, though, doesn't it? More bookshelves? Could we do something like this? That works out. I don't know why we have so many bookshelves in a place with no place to sit down to read a book, but maybe they're not bookshelves. Maybe they contain other various types of games and stuff that one could play. That's pretty cool. All right. Okay. Very good, very nice. 
I wish there was something we could put on this wall that was, you know what you can always do? Signs. You can always put some signs on the wall. There we go. Do, 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 and do, 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 do. There we go. And we're going to do that here too. Maybe, ooh, you know what? Maybe these things are. Maybe these are the, um, those like acoustic panels that you can put on to make it so that, uh, you know, your room isn't so reflective as far as sound is concerned. I think that's what those are. That's what we're going to say those are. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's right. Okay. You know what? I think this area is done. Okay, speed building with hex. I still have no idea what I'm going to put there, so leave me alone. Um, let's see. Ooh, I wanted that glass right here because we need to put a little bit right here so that we don't fall down these stairs either. Like that and like this. Oh, I just hate it when they do the... When they do that right there, it drives me crazy. Makes me mental. It makes Hex mental. Okay, down here what we have. We have scary noises. <laughs> we have scary, scary noises. Oh, man. Are we at 20 minutes already? Oh, my goodness, you guys. How in the world am I supposed to finish this thing? Uh, okay. Go. <laughs> All right, so down here what we have, what I did is I built this wall across here, and this wall comes, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. This is going to be a utility room, so I built this wall across here. I think I might extend it upwards like that, and then like this, but leave it open right there, which is kind of spooky if you're climbing up the stairs, but maybe we could go like this, kind of create that little lip right there, and then we're going to put in a washer and dryer in a little bit. And then right here, what I have is I started out a bedroom. So here's our bedroom. And then over here, we have a bathroom started. We have one, two, three, four of these uh, powder concrete gray blocks. And then we have um, a little shower right there. And then this is made out of the orange wool, of course, and the white wool. And it's three by, uh, well, four. And it's a three by three cube of that. And then we have some stone as kind of our headboard. And what I think I might do is get some more stone out and put it across here like that. That kind of looks cool, actually. And do we want to do that one more time or no? No, we're not going to do that. We are not going to do that. And what we need to do is to decorate this somewhat. Okay, that's what I've come up with so far. Dark oak signs, pots, you can see the rest. It's a water bottle. And then I did put slabs right here. You might not have caught that. Okay, then we got some black stained glass panes up here attached to these guys. These are the acacia wood fences. And then those attach down to this little, um, little lighting thing that I came up with. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like that quite a bit. And that's roughly centered in the room. <laughs> I think it is, in fact, centered in the room. Yeah, somehow that worked out. I'm not sure how. <laughs> All right, that means we can break some of these out like this and then break some of these out. There we go. And then I'd really like something. Well, I don't know. Maybe we don't need anything on the walls. Maybe just having minimalist looking stuff is the way to go. I don't know. I don't know. Part of me wants to do something interesting like this. I don't know what this would be, though. Not sure what that is, but I think it kind of looks cool. So we're going to leave it there. Cool. All right. Uh, let's see. In here, what I've done, this is supposed to be our little walk-in closet. If you remember from a previous uh, episode, we did the walk-in closet thing here. And what I've done here is I put some end rods in there. And then what that's going to allow me to do is put in some armor stands. Some armor stands like this. There we go. Pow, 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 and pow, pow, pow. And then you should be able to place them on top of here. And then what we're going to do... Oh, did I do that again? I did it a second time. A second time, you guys. Oh, man. Hex, can't you do anything without making a mess? No, I can't. Okay, there we go. And boop, and boop, and boop, and boop, and boop. Okay, so you guys are like, what is Hex doing with these armor stands? 
Well, I will show you. Um, what we're going to do is those kind of look like now we have a closet. And if we were able to get some different outfits, we could put them on there. That'd be pretty fun. So like what you would do is you would go like this and this and like that. And, we, and you could actually like have it like this. And then it kind of creates the effect that these things are hanging in the closet. I did this once on another build that I did and I liked it. So I'm going to do it again. There we go. Like that. Okay, cool. There we go. This guy has a lot of blue shirts and pants. <laughs> yes. Anyway, um, I'm not going to, should I completely do it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm so hard balancing the let's build situation with the time situation. Really struggling with that right now. So let me know in the comments if you guys have any ideas besides just go back to tutorials. I know you want me to go back to tutorials probably. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're enjoying this. I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that you're enjoying this because I really enjoy this format one heck of a lot better than the tutorials to be perfectly honest with you. But uh, I do care about what you think. I really do. I really do. I want to bring you content. Content. I hate when people call their videos content. I want to bring you stuff that, to watch <laughs> that you want to watch. There we go. That's that's a good mirror, right? That's that's totally me right there. Come on. Where is it? Where's my favorite one? Come on. There it is. And there it is. Okay, good. A little double mirror right there. That's good. All right. Every bathroom needs a sink, though. Got to have a sink in your bathroom. How are you supposed to wash your fingers? <sighs> Got to wash your hands these days. Crazy times. Okay. Um, trip wire hook. That's what we want. What a trip. Okay, now we got to do that and that, which is super irritating because now we have to put these... I always do that backwards and then I end up having to do this again. There we go. That's pretty good. I like that. Okay, next what we need is... I'm going to get some more of this stone. I'm going to place it in like that for like a little shelf. Ooh. Yes, it's very nice. That's a very nice. Okay, and then... Ooh, something's missing right here. You know what's missing, you guys? What's missing is the potty. <laughs> there we go. Uh, no, nope, we want a pressure plate. We need the pressure plate. The pressure plate of the pressures. There we go. Yeah. Okay. That's not bad, you know. Um, I think I'm going to get these acacia wood buttons and put them on here. I'm going to put acacia wood button there and one here. Like these are like pretend, 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 pretend doors, drawers. Okay. All right. I like this. I like this. And then maybe this guy has some gold armor stuff above keeps the gold he keeps his gold clothes up at the top <laughs> that's right that's what he does or she there we go. I like it I'm liking that quite a bit okay very good. Very, very nice. Okay. So what I've got done in this hallway here is we have this lovely, lovely torch, lovely uh, hanging lamp thing, light thing. And I'm going to do that all the way down the hall. And then also I'm going to go ahead and build out these other rooms and show them to you when I'm done. But they're going to be in a very similar style to this room here. Oops, I forgot something. Forgot something. You know, you guys know what you guys know what I like to do, right? In these modern houses, I like to use one of these as our shower. And since we have the extra space, we can actually do that to create ooh, a lovely shower head. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our button. 
our button. Got to have ourselves a stone button and put it right there. And that's the way that you operate the shower. And then we need some towels. I just typed in towel. Can you believe that? <laughs> some banners. We need some banners. Uh, this room's theme is orange because, because it is. We get a couple of towels. And then you know what we could do? We could do some more of this weird glass stuff. Pretend that the towels are hanging from it. Except we can't do that there because it looks ridiculous. Okay. Great. Now we have a great giant cavernous bathroom. That's kind of fun. Maybe, you know what? Maybe there's some... What the heck was that? <laughs> I think I opened the advancements tab somehow. Uh, maybe there's some like things in this bathroom that kind of are growing from the ceiling. Not like weird, gross, like moldy things, but like, maybe there's like some hanging plants up there. But maybe there's like one hanging plant, you know? How could we pull that off? I have an idea. I've never done this before, so. I know I said I was going to go ahead and work on the other things, but I had an idea. And when you have a good idea, all bets are off. All bets are off. There we go. Okay. And there we go. Like that. And so, ooh, I kind of like that as a light. Maybe it needed a hanging light up here. But I kind of wanted to do a hanging plant. Like this. No. Heck, stop putting compost into the compost. There we go. It's kind of a hanging plant situation. That's pretty nice. And then we're going to do this right here for a little bit of extra light. Okay. Ooh, I like that. That's a good idea. I'm going to use that somewhere else too, but not in here. That would be ridiculous. That'd be preposterous. <laughs> you know what we could do though? We could do one of these things that I like to do. Ooh, that's fun. That's really fun. I like those lights. Maybe that's what this thing is. Yes, that is what that is. <laughs> Okay. All right. Ooh, and maybe there's like a little table right here. Let's see. We just need like some, um, and like an iron trap door. There we go. Just a little table. Why is there a table there? I don't know. So you can have a table like that. A place to set your clothes on. I, I don't know. Just a little shelving unit. If you're going to have one shelf, you might as well have two shelves. And if you have two shelves, you might as well have three shelves. <laughs> right? Yes. I like this. Maybe one more of those right here. Is that what we need? What do you guys think? Yes or no? I think yes. There we are. This is pretty. I like this. I like it quite a bit. I like it quite a bit. You know what? I might extend this like by one more iteration. Uh-huh. That's what it needed. All right. And then I think really the leaves? <laughs> Uh, I think I'm going to do this, actually. Yeah. Okay, this room is done. This room is totally done. I really like this. This is good. This is making me happy. Does this make you happy? It makes me happy. Okay. Okay, so to finish off this episode, I redid, or I did these bedrooms. So we had this one done. I did this one. Check it out. 
It's pretty cool. Uh, the bed is offset a little bit because this is an even number over here and I wanted a three wide bed. I experimented with a two wide bed. It didn't look correct. It didn't look right. So this is a three wide bed. And then we have some stone back here. Similar stuff to what we did in the other room. Uh, I tried that hanging pot thing again. It looks pretty good from the ground, but when you fly up here, it obviously looks ridiculous. But supposing that it's only seen from the ground, it looks great. And then in here, we have a similar bathroom. In this bathroom, I decided to put in these stairs right here to kind of simulate more of a tub style feel. Thought that would look good, but pretty much everything else is the same in there. Just show you real quick. Do, 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 do. Okay. That's the second bedroom. I got two more bedrooms and bathrooms. Okay, here's one. This one I went a little bit more minimalist because it has a little bit more of this acacia wood with these windows and stuff, and it just felt more open, and it felt like it needed a slightly more minimal style. So I did a little bit less in this one, but I really like it just on the fact that like the windows and stuff make it look cool. Uh, another bathroom in here. On this one here, I did a tub as well, but I made a stone tub. And then, again, similar style of bathroom. And then in here, we have another bedroom. This is supposedly the master bedroom. Um, I did a lamp up here, and then I decided to put it against this wall since this worked out really nicely. And I really like these lights like this. I don't know why. Um, the bathroom on this one was a little bit bigger, uh, so I went with a full jacuzzi tub like this. And then we have the spigot, and then I put a little candle up there, just some sea pickles on a slab. I think that works nicely. And then, yeah, another similar style bathroom. But this works really well. This is a three wide bed as well. And there you go. Pretty good stuff. Oh yeah, I also did these lamps all the way down the hallway. I think those look good. And then I did a couple of lamps in here just to kind of make this entryway. I was thinking about doing something elaborate on this entryway, like maybe making, um, some, you know what, actually, I think that I will do just a bit of plants like this. And then what I did is I turned this entire area in here into the smooth stone floor instead of the white stone floor, that, or the white stone, <laughs> the concrete floor. That kind of gives it more of a, um, I guess a, what do you want to call it? Um, like this part is like the entryway, right? It kind of separates it from the rest of the house a little bit. And then I think what I might do is it needs to fit three of these in here. One, two, and three. That would work well. And then we're just going to kind of, you know, put the plants in here. That. There we go. Maybe we should make them all the same height. Yeah, that's good. All right. And then I put um, these glass panes in here just to kind of simulate doors as being closed. Of course, I locked myself in, <laughs> which is silly. All righty. Okay, then we have our laundry room. I decided to go like this. These are supposed to be the washer dryer. <laughs> I don't know what these uh, repeaters are doing up here. I tried to make them look mechanical, I guess. But what I ended up with is a couple of robots. Okay. <laughs> Some shelving, light, another shelf. Easy peasy. Easy. You know what? We should probably put... No, we can't do it. Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. That's good. The interior is nearly finished. I have one more space to deal with. And that space is this wall right here. So I think, I think I'm going to try this and put some lighting along here. I think that that would look cool. Ah, nope. There we go. And then what if we did more of these? Can't go wrong with composters and plants. Um, or sometimes, uh, yeah, you totally can go wrong <laughs> with composters and plants. Do we need two of them? Like that in between? Uh, maybe so like that. There we go. That'll do it. That will do it, my friends. That will do it. The interior 
of this build is complete, except for this. I want to get rid of that. And I kind of want to do one of these right here. So it's not, a, it's not complete. I'm going to do a couple of those right there. Just like that. Maybe I'm overdoing those lights, but I really like them. I think they look very modern, incredibly modern. Uh, I did switch texture packs. This is the Project Luma. And for some reason, it's working a lot better today. It's not giving me those weird shadows. So I don't know if I changed something within the texture pack that got rid of them, but I'm not going to touch it. It is kind of doing some weird, like, um, reflection stuff. But it's not giving me that, like, weird one where, like, if I look at the ground, like, <laughs> I can still see the house or something. Uh, it's not doing that. So that's really good. Yeah. I like this a lot. I am very, very happy about this house. This is looking good. Looking really good. Well, guys and gals, this has been Hex. I hope that you're enjoying this Let's Build stuff. I hope you like this, and I hope that um, you are maybe getting some ideas, some inspiration from it, or maybe just enjoying watching a video and chilling out. Anyway, I hope you're having an amazing day, and God bless.